Okay, now let's look at the electron emission diagram for formation of chlorine molecules. So as you can see here, when we are talking about sharing, you can see the valence shell of each atom must overlap. So I will suggest to you always when you want to draw, please draw the outermost shell overlaps first, then you go invert and complete the atoms. So now, as you can see, for each chlorine atom, will contribute one electron for sharing, right? So, look at their valence shell now. The valence shell, each chlorine atom have how many valence electrons? Seven, am I right? So, out of seven, it's going to contribute one. So, you put one at the sharing part, the overlapping part. And then, you're going to complete the other valence electron at the valence shell. So, that you won't make any mistake. You can't simply put uh, electrons up, down, left, right, and so on. Okay, please count when you put the position of electron for each. So we know chlorine has seven valence electron, so it contributed one for sharing. So balance, you have another six. You go and place the six valence electron at the valence shell. Got it? Okay, so this is how we complete our electron arrangement diagram for chlorine molecules. Look at the essay writing for the formation of chlorine molecules. Point one, we'll be talking about electron arrangement. So the electron arrangement of chlorine atom is 287. Point two, you'll be talking about how many valence electron they have. So point two, you write chlorine atom has seven valence electron. And point three, you can see the word NIPS. Uh, for covalent compound formation, you have to talk about electron NIPS, okay? So chlorine atom needs one electron to achieve a stable octet electron arrangement. And then please focus to the point four now. Okay. Now for point four, in the formation of this chlorine molecules is involving the same elements. So we can write it one shot together. We talk about how many atoms of the elements are involved. So two chlorine atoms share how many electrons? One electron each or you can write it as a pair of electrons to achieve a stable of the electron arrangement and point five a covalent compound with a single covalent bond why we say single because you notice right just now they share a pair so the covalent bond they formed is a single covalent bond is formed and point six you will complete with the chemical formula so the chemical formula of the covalent compound formed is cl2 Okay, now we're going to do for the second covalent compound, which is hydrogen chloride molecules. So before we further up with the diagram or even SC, it's better for you to form the equations first so that it will be easier for you to organize your diagram and also your essay writing. So let's look at how to write the chemical formula for the covalent compound. Eh? Okay, first thing what you have to do is please analyze how, what are the elements are involved in the formation of the compounds. For hydrogen chloride, the elements involved is hydrogen. So please write the formula of hydrogen symbol, eh? symbol for hydrogen element, which is H. And chloride is from chlorine, so Cl. Second, identify the uh, proton number. Hydrogen, the proton number is 1. Cl is 17. The yeah, electron arrangement. Hydrogen, proton number is 1, so electron arrangement is 1. Cl, proton number is 17, electron arrangement will be 287. Okay, so next step, you go and look at how many electrons they need to be stable. Okay, now as you can see in hydrogen, the electron arrangement is 1. It seems it's only filling up the first shell, so hydrogen to be stable need to achieve a stable duplet electron arrangement. Hence, it needs one more electrons. In return for chlorine, it's filling up the third shell. So to be stable, you need to achieve a stable octet electron arrangement. So it also needs another one more electron to be stable. So when you do this, you can see each of them going to contribute one electron each for sharing. So, when the number of electrons they need are same number, then you just go and merge the symbol to get their formula out. 
So the formula of the compound will be HCl. Okay, why I say the formula is very important? So that from this formula, you can uh, plan up your diagram. That means for this compound, you need one hydrogen and one Cl. So now we're going to start on drawing the compound. So remember hydrogen is only filling up a uh, first shell so you don't draw a big circle you draw a small circle would do and whereas for chlorine you're going to need to fill up to three shells so draw a bigger shell make sure it's overlap we will start our diagram with the valence shells huh? okay now let's look at the small circle here this is for hydrogen as you can see in hydrogen the electron arrangement is one so the valence is one so it's going to contribute one for sharing as well so we place the sharing electrons for each first get it okay now let's go to the first circle this is for hydrogen atoms now hydrogen the electron arrangement is one so this is the first shell so we just complete the nucleus of it in this by sharing, it already achieved a duplet electron arrangement. Now, move on to the second circle here. This is for chlorine. As you know, electron arrangement of chlorine is 287. So, it must occupy three shells. So, this will be the third shell. So, let's complete the second shell. First shell. And now, the nucleus. Shade it okay now let's place the electron in each shell first two eight okay now when you come to the third shell please be careful remember out of the seven valence electron it has it's already contributed one for sharing thus it must have a balance six so you're going to put up the six electrons the remainder of it eh? now can you see it so one chlorine atom has achieved if i hide this part can you see it the chlorine atom has achieved stable octet electron arrangement point four you have to talk about how many atoms of each kind with how many electrons they're going to contribute for sharing so that they're able to achieve a stable duplet or octet electron arrangement and point five, you have to focus to the type of covalent bond they're forming. If they are sharing a pair of electron, then it's going to be single covalent bond. If it's, they are sharing uh, two pairs of electron each, then it's going to be double covalent bond. If it's three, then it's going to be triple covalent bond. You have to specify that in point five. And then you'll end your explanation by stating the chemical formula of the compound formed. Okay, now let's look at the essay writing. Uh, this for covalent compounds, we will write for the elements together, not like ionic compound. We write for metal first, then we followed by non-metals, right? But for covalent, it's not like that. We will write for whatever elements, we will write it together. So first point, you have to talk about electron arrangement. Over here, got two elements. One is hydrogen and chlorine. So how to write it is this. Electron arrangement of hydrogen atom is 1. Electron arrangement of chlorine atom is 2, 8, 7. That's going to be a point 1. And point two, hydrogen atom has one valence electron and chlorine atom has seven valence electron. Point three, hydrogen atom needs how many more electrons? One is an eight. So you write one electron to achieve a stable duplet electron arrangement. Class, you have to be very careful about the stable electron arrangement they're going to reach. For hydrogen is duplet. So you have to write duplet electron arrangement. And chlorine atom needs one electron to achieve a stable octet electron arrangement. Okay, now we are moving to point number four. One hydrogen atom contributes one electron for sharing with one chlorine atom to achieve a stable duplet electron arrangement. In return, one chlorine atom contributes one electron for sharing with one hydrogen atom to achieve a stable octet electron arrangement when you come to point four class you have to be very careful you have to it's better for you to talk separately for each atoms how many of them are involved and how many electrons they are contributing each to be stable okay now we move on to point five so a covalent compound with a single covalent bond is formed 
and the chemical formula of hydrogen chloride molecule is HCl.